Hey, happy Monday, everybody, in the last month of 2022. I have mixed feelings about this. <laughs> I had kind of a tough first quarter, and um, but really I'm kind of closing really well. So I'm happy with how things changed and took a turn for the better and um, happy to be here to <laughs> share that with you. So uh, my name's Beth Knaus and I'm the owner of That's A Spade Copywriting Services and the co-host of Unmute Yourself, the podcast. And I just wanted to leave a quick video here today. Um, I know there's a lot of things to watch and, and listen to uh, right now. And now we're picking up in, you know, our obligations and shopping and planning and travel and all that sort of stuff. So what I was thinking about today is this is a time when uh, business owners think a lot about transition and they think a lot about what are they going to do in the new year? Are they going to offer anything? Do they have to promote it? Do they have to run a launch? And I think for those of us who work by ourselves, we often tend to look over to see what is everybody else doing or planning instead of trusting our own instinct of what's the best thing for us, right? Because we feel like when we choose something too differently, too different, that we step, you know, we put ourselves alone in this spotlight and we're the only ones doing it. And we're like, oh, well, maybe that's not going to sell when other people are selling this other thing, right? Or the opposite things hap thing happens, right? And we keep to ourselves and we come up with this great idea and something we feel really good about and we go to put it out there and we see that maybe one or two other people have something similar. And then we go, oh, should I be doing that? Are people gonna think I'm copying them, right? We all have these thoughts. And I think what you have to remember is that no matter what you're providing, what offers you have, what you're selling, it's all about selling you when you work for yourself. You are it, right? They are going to get these deliverables from you, but at the end of the day, they will decide if they fit with you. So if you have a program or an offer that's similar to someone else's, you have to ask yourself, why is somebody going to choose yours, right? What is gonna make them choose you and your offer. It's not just the offer, it's who's putting it out there. Um, and I'm going down a little bit of a rabbit hole here, but you know what I wanted to talk about was make sure that you take some time and separate yourself because we can all get caught up in the, ooh, she's doing that and he's selling this and they're promoting that service and I don't have a program like that. And at the end of the day, we are all learning to promote and to offer and share the things that are our natural talents, abilities, and skills. And we can't go out and market somebody else's talents, abilities, and skills successfully, not like we can our own. So um, I want you to keep that in mind as you are making choices. And you know what? You don't have to make choices right now because other people are. It's okay to back out and say, you know what? I don't want to get caught up in this in the middle of this other crazy time in my personal life, right? If it's a crazy time, because maybe it's not. And maybe it's a quiet time for you and you're like, I want it to be a quiet time in my business. So I think you have to decide that. So today I'm actually going off to spend a few solid hours with my accountability partner. And we are going to look back on this year and then look into next year. And we know each other well, we know our business as well. We also know each other's limitations and capabilities. So we can say to each other, do you really want to do that? Do you really think that's in your wheelhouse? Or you know what, you should do that. That's going to be great. You're really good at this. You know, it's instinctual for you. And so we, we do that. And then we don't always take each other's advice, right? But we are each other's kind of trusted business people. And then we get that opinion, but then we have to make our own decisions. And that's scary sometimes, but you have to do it. So, well, you don't have to, but you'll find that you'll be happiest when you do. So I hope that you have a great week. And of course, this is something for you to think about uh, moving forward. And I will see you next Monday.